Hello boys and girls, this week I would really love to look at both multiplication and division tables. So let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Remember that a multiplication table looks like this. So it has all of our multiplication facts from 0 to 12. And you can use this table to find your multiplication fact answers. So for example, if I had this multiplication problem, 6 times 6, what I could do is I could find the 6 along the top row and the 6 along the first column. Then you just draw your fingers, starting at both of those 6's, draw your fingers until they meet at 36. What that means is, is that 6 times 6 is 36. So that is one way that you can use the multiplication chart. Now with division, it's similar, but before we get there, let's look at one other type of multiplication table. This is another type of multiplication table, and it's basically just a table that has all of your facts written out for you. So if you go down to the sixes table, you can see that I have a box around six times six is 36. Super easy to find it. So those are some different types of tables. Now let's go to division tables. They're gonna look pretty much the same, but there'll be one way that will be different in how you use them. So, what we're going to do with a division table is you start with that biggest number. So let's start with 36, okay? So I'm going to find 36 on my table, and as you can see, I found it there. And then we're going to divide by 6. So that means, okay, let's find the 6 and draw a line. And then we're going to start at 36 and draw another line up and find, oh, we stopped at the 6 along the first row. So that means that 36 divided by 6 is also 6. Now, if you see, there are other 36s on our chart. So you want to make sure that when you're looking for 36, let's go back here. When you're looking for 36, you also want to look. We're dividing it by 6. You want to find that 6 in the first column, and that way you know you're on the right track. Now the other division table looks almost exactly like that multiplication table I showed you, but they're division problems instead of multiplication. So if you go down to the divided by 6 division box, you can see that I have outlined 36 divided by 6 equals 6. So those are a couple of great tools that you can use when you are looking at both multiplication and division. Have fun this week.